Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about suppressors. One of the attachments that is very, like, uh, debated on if it's good, what you, if you should use it, or what barrel attachment is the best. So, I'll just have some background gameplay going on, and we're going to talk first about the pros and cons of the suppressor, and then go over some hard stats and testing I've done uh, with my friend Andy. So, um... The pros of using a suppressor are going to be there's uh, the there you can't see the um, white threat indicators like when you get shot at with a regular gun. Um, it's quieter, so if you're shooting at somebody and you're missing your shots or you had to shoot like a gadget, for example, then they can't hear it and there is no um, no uh, tracer, because all the most of the rounds in this game are tracer, like white tracer kind of. I'm not sure if that exists, but it looks like they're white tracer pretty much. And um, basically, you can see that white tracer very well. So if you're seeing shots coming down a hallway, you can know where people are and possibly pre-fire them or shoot them through a wall. With the suppressor, there's no bullet spread at all. Now these tests is just the gameplay of me testing out the recoil. Disadvise this because I will have the screenshots of them later on. That's the pros. The cons are damage reduction, uh, not being able to use the other recoil controlling attachments, which help a lot, and giving up that recoil can really make you less accurate for those headshots. But if you're less accurate, but you're quieter, then if you you're, you can it makes you able to afford more shots missed. That's the pros and cons of this. Um, now I'm going to go over the recoil test. So what I've done is I've taken every, or, er, uh, four different guns, two attackers, two defenders, the AUG, the C8, the 416, and the MP7. And you'll see the screenshots coming up here after this, uh, buck test here. But I've used the compensator and the suppressor, and you'll see the difference. In my opinion, most of them, the compensator allows for vertical recoil, not horizontal, and the suppressor makes it uh, a lot more spread out with horizontal. So that's um, the the as you can see the spread on this one compared to the other one is a lot more spread out, not as tall. But there's the AUG with a compensator, as you can see, very tall, not very spread out. AUG suppressed a little bit better, but I am pretty good at controlling the recoil of that gun. So 416 suppressed, as you can see, a lot bigger spread. Still the same tallness. And I was kidding, potato on the le far left back one, but as you can see, more straight. C8, straight, not very horizontal. That's with a compensator. When it's suppressed, however, it's very spread out. The C8 has a lot of recoil. Uh, I just wanted to put DMRs in here. Don't use the suppressor on a DMR, but there you go. It's a lot less with a muzzle brake. Muzzle brakes are, like, designed for DMRs, so just use a muzzle brake. Here's the MP7. Um, there you go, vertical, a lot more spread out. So that's the recoil test for this. And there's going to be more gameplay of me shooting this. So, um, Next is the, the thing about uh, basically with the recoil and the damage and everything. How I'd recommend you want to use these suppressors is try to use them with, uh, if you do like super high damage guns. Like, I already said don't use them on DMRs, but if you really like suppressing but you, and you like using stuff like the 417, Camers, and the OTS-03, they are very high damage, and it does not reduce your damage per second or your, like, damage output very much, since it's usually a two-shot kill no matter what. So that is um, what I'd recommend for using the suppressor with the damage uh, part of it. Uh, higher damage, lower damage guns like the, the FMG-9, the um, P90, and the um, MP5. Don't use them on that because they are very low damage and your damage will be dropped so low that it'll take a lot of shots to kill people and you'll be losing a lot. The next thing is, is don't use it on high recoil guns like the MPX, the C8, the R4C, the, or the SMG11. The Type 89 is on the brink of being high recoil or low recoil, so... Um, yeah, that's basically the stuff about what I'd recommend on what type of guns. I would recommend it on pistols, though, because on pistols, the thing is, is that you can shoot cameras without that white, uh, white bullet spread or, uh, bullet, uh, tracer. So then you can shoot a camera and nobody knew you did it, because it's silent. 
and it's you can't see the bullet spread. So with that, uh, I recommend it for pistols, shields, high damage guns, and shotguns. Shotguns obviously just reduce the spread and you hip fire a lot. No DMRs. I don't think it's a good idea to use it on DMRs, but if you really want to, you can. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to the um, the examples of that bullets bullet Got tracer em. and everything. Snipe their glass. But before we do that, I'm going to go over the damage of a, a variety of guns and how it is suppressed and non-suppressed. So first we have the C8 SFW, the uh, suppressed it is 32 damage, non-suppressed it is 38. The AUG has 34 suppressed and 41 not suppressed. 416 has 35 suppressed and 42. Oh, the MP7 so has 28 and 34. So um, FMG9 has 24 and 29. No, this is getting so into bad. the very low recoil, uh, or very low damage guns of the P90. 17 suppressed, 21 non-suppressed. OTS-03, this is one that you could use it on, which is 72 and 85. Uh, 72 suppressed, 85 not suppressed. The, and the UMP-45, 32 suppressed, 38 non-suppressed. So some of these that I like to talk about, um, the P90 and the FMG9. When you're dropping under 25 damage, and that's a four-shot kill, that's not good at all. Because And that's at close range, too. At range, that can be getting up to an eight-shot kill. So do not use it on any of the low-damage guns. I would not recommend it at all. Or the MP7, when it goes down to 28 under 30 damage, which is like a four or five shot kill depending on range even a six shot kill at some ranges um i would not recommend it on the mp mp7 either but with the 416 the aug i i would recommend it i would recommend using a suppressor on the aug and the 416 but it's all personal preference because everyone c handles their guns differently and everyone handles the recoil differently i personally do not care to be silent because if you're super accurate with a compensator control your recoil and you just tap them in the head with your first bullet it doesn't really matter if you have a suppressor because they're already dead there is one thing if there's other people around uh... they will know where you are now and it's easier to call them out but there's such thing as a kill cam and people are on mics so i don't really see the point of it but i would recommend it on your secondaries I love it on my pistols. Uh, I only use it really on IQs, but because ever since the muzzle brake came out, I always thought that was a lot better. But that's my recommendation, and that's what I use. I think the suppressor is pointless on most guns just because of the damage and mostly the recoil. And if you're accurate, there's no need for a suppressor in my opinion. So with that, that's going to be the end of the discussion part of it, but really overall it's your opinion it does it's not this is just my opinion i say don't use suppressors on primaries only use them on some dmrs that's dmrs are really weird they i muzzle i like muzzle brake better but if you're accurate just don't use a suppressor because it will just when you when you sometimes potato having a suppressor will not help you because you will have to go for body shots and then you will kill them a lot slower and they have a lot a lot more time to whip on you and kill you so that's my recommendation uh now i'm going to show you guys the uh clips of the tracer the muzzle flashes and the um the muzzle flash within your scope you know because uh there's the flash hider but the flash hider actually doesn't minimate uh, mitigate the flash it only puts it to the side you can still see it while you're scoping in, but it's not as potent. So after this clip is done, we will go over to that those clips. But this is pretty funny. I was trying to just knife all these guys, but they had one smart guy on their team that actually noticed me, and then he got me because I'm a potato. Okay, so you'll see here that I'm doing, you can see the muscle flash very well with that is just with a compensator which does not do anything with your flash because this gun cannot take a flash hider so i couldn't do it with that that is the mess you can see how it's all over the place very distracting and with the suppressor zero 
All you can see is little dust clouds, but when you're in the heat of battle, that is nothing compared to the muzzle flash. And you'll see in the test where someone's looking at me that the flash is very bright and it gives out your position in dust after like a breach or something. This is the uh, Jaeger's gun with no attachment on. And as you can see, um, it's very potent flash and here's a picture of it. It's big. It's not as big as the Augs for some reason, but I'm guessing because it's a, not a rifle. But Now this is with the flash hider. As you can see, it puts it to the right and left, not in your center of view, which is good. But, as you can see when I hip fire, you can still see the flash very well, which makes the suppressor a better option. The flash hider does reduce some recoil, though, so. As you can see there, flash hider doesn't reduce your view as much, but still a little bit distracting. And then you have the suppressor, of course, nothing. So, that is basically that. The only reason that you'd really not want flash is I don't get distracted by it personally, but I know a lot of people who do, so. That's, again, this is mostly just personally for you, but um, the main reason is because it detect makes you easier detected uh, with when they see your flash going off through clouds and stuff. So now we're going to move right Doesn't into matter. the clips of us testing this stuff from the other yeah. person's point of view. Okay, so as you can see, zero muzzle flash whatsoever. Okay. And no. there's no, the tracer rounds are there's harder to see, you'll around. see Not here. Sure. In certain conditions, they're really hard shoot. to see. In certain conditions, you can see them fine. We're doing this in controlled environment, so it's really easy. No, shoot, but don't shoot to me. See it, but you can see the suppressor. If I'm looking at that guy and he starts shooting, it's a lot harder to tell where I'm getting hit from if I was okay, looking to the right. Put you for in example. Smoke. Now and uh, wait, wait till the smoke comes out. And the thing is, there's it. no none of those white reticles, so then you can't shoot. You can't see. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Okay. He randomly shot me. Shoot. And then this is with a regular muzzle. As you can see, okay, now a ton of flash, super easy way. to see um, that muzzle and the trace around. So if you're on the other end of that, you know where that's coming from. You can hear it, you can see it, and you get the white reticles. Okay, shoot another mag. As you can see, I'm getting the white reticles. Now I need to get a clear view of so, you. That's shoot basically the whole video on the suppressors. In my opinion, don't use it. Recoil advantage is much better because then you can headshot right away. But I'll see you guys next time. I have more videos prepared. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. But see you guys next time. Gav321 out. Bye.